great to have Taylor Caduce join yeah, us this exciting. morning. Check the clock at 647. We're going to start things off on this Friday with another view of the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Morning Radar Network because we are tracking more light showers. We've been mentioning it throughout the morning. Some of those showers in northern Mississippi right now, they are starting to make their way back into the shoals, mainly right around our Muscle Shoals Early Warning Radar Network site for the time being. And that's where we'll have the best chance to see those showers at least through the morning drive. But for all of us in North Alabama, we'll keep that chance for a couple of those hit and miss showers throughout your Friday. If you're not seeing those showers for the time being on the way 31 sky cab network, you're seeing a mix of sun and clouds, more clouds than anything else. Temperatures thanks to that cloud cover. It stayed with us last night. Remember clouds at night. They act like a blanket to keep us warmer, so we're all in the mid 40s as you head out the door. It's a 20% chance for a few of those showers all day long. Now, despite those clouds being with us, temperature wise, it's going to be pretty mild today. Your forecast high 61 before we get there, it'll be 56 by noon and we will stay in the 50s for any Friday night plans you might have. Part of the reason why we're a bit more mild today is because of that wind. Not only has the wind picked up, but it's also switched directions. Now coming out of the south and southeast, pumping in some of that slightly warmer air. We'll see those gusts today get around 25 miles per hour during the afternoon. The wind subsides just a little bit overnight tonight, and then it picks back up closer to sunrise tomorrow morning as our next cold front moves through. We'll talk about that in just a moment. For any holiday festivities you might have planned tonight, we've got several Christmas parades around town, skating in the park, Rocket City Light Show. Keep that umbrella nearby just to be safe with a few of those showers still around. Otherwise, it stays mostly cloudy with those temperatures, as we mentioned, in the mid 50s. Here's future radar. 10 o'clock this morning, those showers are still with us, but I do expect that coverage to drop at least a little bit by sunset tonight. So nearly all of us will be dry for any of those Friday night plans. We'll keep that small shower chance around just to be safe. This is three o'clock Saturday morning. We mentioned that cold front that's going to be moving through tomorrow morning. Right ahead of that front, you see widespread showers in Middle Tennessee. Those will move southward as we get closer to sunrise Saturday morning. This is 6 a.m. We've got widespread rain and maybe a few rumbles of thunder as well. Nothing severe expected, but this is a quick moving cold front. So by the time we get to noon, the rain chances are done. We'll keep the clouds around for the rest of your Saturday afternoon and Saturday night, but there is no washout on the table for Saturday, nor is there a washout for Sunday either. But let's talk about early next week. We have another frontal boundary moving in, and that boundary in particular is going to stall out. Where does it stall out? remains to be seen. It's going to be nearby, and that means several ways of what could be heavy rain. Monday, Tuesday, then again Wednesday, then again Thursday. You get the idea. We are going to see a lot of rain next week, and given the fact that we saw two to four inches of rain a few nights ago, this will make things a little bit worse when it comes to that flooding potential. Over the next seven days, Parts of North Alabama will see another three to five inches of rain. Slightly lower totals in our southern counties, so DeKalb, Marshall, Morgan, maybe around two to four inches of rain, but that will add up very quickly. So we'll have to keep a close eye on that flooding potential by the middle part of next week. Seven day forecast shows those rain chances, but also mild temperatures outside of Sunday when it's a little bit cooler. Highs remain in the 60s, while overnight lows are in the 50s. Chris?